Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the Most High God, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. Double honor to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors and blessings to you, brothers, teaching the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in true faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And as always, peace and mercy to the elect of Israel. My name is Yawanathan. And um, pretty much I'm going to get into a quick lesson here, Lord willing, to feed and edify the hopeful elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I'm going to get into a quick lesson here dealing with people that already have the mark of the beast, people that already have received microchips in their bodies. Okay, what's the judgment of that? We have it right here on the screen, Revelation 14, verse 9 through 11. All right. And um, yeah, pretty much, you know, I came across an article. I'm not going to read the scripture yet. I'm just going to bring out some of this information that I came across this morning. And um, how, you know, this prophecy of the mark of the beast is very real. And first and foremost, even to order... Even in order, excuse me, to understand what the mark of the beast even is, you will have to understand what the beast is. Who is the beast? All right, which we know that the beast, when you read Revelation, the 13th chapter, that dragon that has seven heads and ten horns is not an actual beast, first and foremost. It's not an actual dragon. All right, that is allegoric, it's symbolic, and it represents NATO and the EU, all right, along with America, which is that whore that you read about Babylon, the great mystery Babylon, that's written on her forehead in Revelation, the 17th chapter. Okay, and through NATO and the EU, along with America, which who is operating, who's running America, who established America, who established NATO and the EU, the Edomites, the biblical Edomites. All right, and through that power, that's how they rule the world. According to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right, so through the power structure of the beast, which basically would also go back to the ancient pagan Roman Empire, the image of the beast, that, that structure, that political, the Senate, the, the plebes, the publicans, and everything that comes with it, the homosexuality and the different philosophies and ideologies like transhumanism, uh, pedophilia even, uh, feminist, feminist movement, you know, women's rights and things like that. This is what the scriptures speak about when it speaks about the image of the beast and those that worship the image of the beast, meaning that consent to live in this way, which is basically, again, nothing but the ancient Roman Empire reincarnated on steroids. All right. You have to understand these things first before you could even understand what the mark of that beast is. And you have to go into these Greek words because the word mark in the Greek means what? Karagma. Which goes back to the root word karaks, which means a, pa a pail or a stake. Basically to stick something. And that's where you get the word karagma from. An imprinted mark, an incision, a branding upon the skin. And what is that karagma? What is that mark of the beast? It's the microchip, man. And these people out here... Are are loving it, all right? These, especially these Edomites, you know, you have many people that already have the chip and it's becoming something that's mainstream, something that's um being pushed like a, a the next level of technology, you know, if you keep, if you paying attention. So here, you know, I, I came across this article. I just wanted to read some of it and pretty much this uh, thing here, this creature you know, I'm not sure if it's actually a male or female. I don't know what this is, but according to this article, it says a cyborg magician explains why she implanted 26 microchips and magnets in her body. All right. So you got this person here. They have 26 microchips and mag magnets combined um, together in her body, in his body. You know, and these are this is what's really going on. This is actually a reality. To say that the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip implant, you have to be a fool. All right? You have to not understand these scriptures, man. You got to be an a idiot, man. Really. And I'm not using hate speech or anything. It's just the truth. All right? It's so plain that the mark of the beast is the chip. You got people that got 26 microchips in them. Why are they doing this? 
What is this technology and where is it spoken about in the scriptures? Wouldn't the scriptures, the, the Holy Bible, the word of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, have mentioned this somewhere? This is not the only person that has chips like that chipped up, man. You know, I decided through the spirit when I came across this article that um I would look this person up because I keep seeing, you know, their name is uh, Anastasia Sin. Which that was spiritual in itself when I first <laughs> read that. Sin. You know, taking the mark of the beast is a sin. All right. And that happens to be this person's last name, whether they changed it legally or not. Or oh, that's just a uh, stage name. All right. Because as I said, this, this thing is a magician. All right. Some type of cyborg transhumanist magician. Which I don't find this shit entertaining or impressing at all, man. Impressive. All right, some of this article here it says Las Vegas at a biohacker conference, which I couldn't find any videos on. I was trying to find a video on it, but you know, I didn't really do too much of a diligent search. I just briefly put it on the YouTube search. I couldn't find anything, but I did find a video that I'm going to play part of dealing with um this person pretty much standing up against banning a voluntary microchipping. You know, I'm gonna get right into that after I read some of this here, just because, you know, just to get some information out on it. It says, uh, at a biohacker conference convened here the other day, panelists took to the stage, settled in their chairs, and launched into their slide decks, not Anastasia Sin, with Frank Sinatra crooning, I've got you under my skin, over the loudspeakers. Sin pulled out a giant needle and twisted it deeper and deeper into her left arm. As the music played on, which that shit is demonic as hell, man. The scripture tell you don't make no cuttings in your flesh. Leviticus 19 and 28. So these people are straight demons, man. These people that are into this uh, cyborg, cyberkinetic, bio, uh, how do they call it again? Damn, biotech or whatever you, want, you might want to call it. Because the word bio just goes back to body and, and they're fusing you know, bo their bodies with technology, man. That's that's wicked. All right, that is wicked, man. That's basically what the mark of the beast is, man. This transhumanism thing that's going on. That's what the mark of the beast is. The microchip a technology being implanted into your skin. Why would anyone even want to do that in their right, you know, reasonable mind? These people are not right, man. These people that are consenting already to the chip, it's not even mandatory yet, according to the prophecy of Revelation 13 and 16, but they already got it. Multiple, 26 chips. And I'm, and I'm going to read the, more of the article. When I jumped down, when I read, this person said they're going to get the 27th and the 28th chip within the next few days. All right. It says it was only after finishing her routine capped off by loud applause from the crowd of biohackers that sin sat down for a fireside chat about her work as a cyborg magician. Sin has 26 microchips and magnets implanted throughout her body. Unlike many biohackers who experiment purely out of personal interest, Sin does it for her magic career. Yeah, okay. It says, these days she's doing less performing on stage and spending more time designing bodily implants for other magicians. This shit is crazy, man. It says, Stat sat down with Sin after her performance last weekend at Biohack the Planet to learn more about her bodily implants, her medical precautions, precautions, and what it's like to go through airport security. This is just some of the interview. Like I said, I wish I could have just found a video on it so I didn't have to read it. It's like reading a transcript. But, um, you know, I'm just going to read it kind of fast. And I do have the scripture that is going to go into, you know, the judgment of these type of people. And not only these type of people, but the people that's going to consent to the mandatory microchipping that's soon to come in the near future, man, when this economy collapses and all hell breaks loose all throughout America and all throughout the world, global economic failures, you know, what's the next currency to come is going to be this chip, man. It's going to be the mark of the beast, according to the prophecy. And if you don't take the chip, all right, um, there's a good chance that you're going to get your head chopped off, all right, by legislation, by, by the death penalty, all right? You're going to get your head guillotined right clean off, and that's in the scriptures as well, Revelation, the 20th chapter, 
But for those of you that do take the chip and that are more afraid of men than afraid of the Most High, more you fear men more than you fear the Most High, should I say, you know, the judgment for taking this chip is that you're going to be destroyed. And we're going to get into the details on how in the book of Revelation 14, 9 through 11. All right. It says you're often described. This is the, the interview that they had. You're often described in interviews as a cyborg. What does that mean to you? She says to me, a cyborg is anyone that wants to add technology or anything that isn't already in their body to their body and achieve a new sense or a new ability. So that shows you a good deal of what this chipping thing is really about, man. These people want extra abilities. These people basically want some form of spiritual power, some form of superpowers, you know, so they're going to try to obtain it through robots, through microchips and things like that. All right, but that's uh, that's not right, man. That's wicked, man. All right, if you really want true power, if you really want true abilities and superpowers and things like that, you got to go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to get that. And first and foremost, you got to be an Israelite to get that. All right, you have to be of the seed of the sons of God. All right, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, you heathens ain't going to get that, man. And you notice that it's mostly Edomites that are uh, getting these chips crazy like like the way they are in Sweden what what type, what kind of people are dwelling over there in Sweden what nation of people are over there Edomites so-called white people you have Jake in the midst of course but it's mostly Esau that's really pushing this microchip technology it says so you have a total of 26 bodily implants including microchips and magnets and you're getting a 27th one this afternoon she said yes and a 28th tomorrow a few days after this interview, Sin said she hadn't yet installed implants number 27 and 28. But she said, I suspect by the end of the month, I'll probably be up to 35. Look at this, man. These people are going crazy. They have to be destroyed, man. All right. All of you people that got the chip, even if you just got one microchip in your body, you're going to be destroyed. All right. It says, what do you use these implants to do? She said, I'm a magician, so I use them in my magic act. And I also use them in my day to day life. You see, so it's not just all about, oh, it's a magic trick, it's just for entertainment. No, these people are using this in their everyday life. It says here to unlock my door at home or to let my cat speak. And you know for sure these people are using it to buy and sell. It's all over YouTube, man. It's not a mystery anymore. They're using the chip, they have their uh, cyber, um, I said cyber, uh, cryptocurrency. You could say cyber currency. You say the same thing, cryptocurrency, cyber currency. They have this digital currencies on their microchips, and people are using their microchip to buy and sell already, man. So how can you deny that this is not the mark of the beast, man? Said, I know that sounds crazy, but my cat's upgraded even so I can scan him, and he will tell his story about how I found him behind a grocery store. I love my cat. I can't go into it into too much detail about how the implants are being are used in magic, but there's multiple ways they can be used and even more ways they can be designed to use. You see that? So you can you can program these chips to pretty much do damn near whatever you want concerning other technologies. Like, you know, they might have in the future where you can turn your TV on with the chip. I would not be surprised. And I believe that is going to happen to turn your cars on. They already got that. Start your car. Like I said, turn your TV on. Uh, unlock your phone. They have this already, man. Access vending machines. This is they already doing this. Enter into buildings. Clock in to work. Clock out. Take the train. Take the plane. You see, they already are using this technology. Is already here. Like the brother uh, Amawan Gabar did a video. He put up a video yesterday. It's not coming. It's already here. The mark of the beast is not coming. It's already here. All right. And this article really just brings that to life, man. It shows you that people are. Or how could I say it? they're this is like re they're regularly using microchips so much that you got people that's walking around with over 20 microchips inside of them. All right. This is reality. OK, it says the computer. This is another question. They ask. What's an example of when they said you can use there's multiple ways that it could be used and and designed to be used? The computer that I want to plug my leg. What? The computer that I want to plug my leg that we're working on right now will actually have an NFC and Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth. 
what the fuck? NFC or near field communication is a technology that uses magnetic fields to connect two devices when they are brought into close proximity with each other. It'll be able to read something by NFC, transfer it to my phone with Wi-Fi, transfer it to my hairpiece with Bluetooth, and then vibrate the magnet in my ear so I can receive secret information that no one can, no one else can hear. And I'm not wearing any kind of headset, so people can't, people can inspect my ears. The magnets are great for doing any kind of coin manipulations, or anything that I can put magnetic material in can be held by my magnets. You see this, man? Are you using your implants in any way to monitor your health? I have one temperature chip under my arm, so I guess you could say that was a health monitor. It's not hugely accurate. I think that if I were to choose again where to install it, I will put it directly in my armpit, where it could get a real legitimate reading as far as other things. I would like to get my Spire, which is a machine that you can buy on the market from Amazon, for example, and have it coded and implanted in my breast, in my chest, excuse me, because it actually monitors my stress my and my breathing. This shit is crazy, man. What happened to just putting a thermometer under your tongue or behind your, you know, feeling, uh, you know, your neck or your forehead or the back of your neck to tell if you, if you know, if you got a fever or something, man. This shit is crazy. Now you got to get a fucking chip implanted in you just to get your body temperature. This is bugged out, man. This is bugged out. It says, it texts me and says, hey, Anna, you're really stressed out, chill. And then it runs you through a breathing exercise. So I like, I really like to have that become part of me because I feel like it's my best friend sometimes. These people are fucking delusional, man. All right, we are in an era where people are trying to merge with machines, man. This shit is, this shit is, this shit gotta go, man. This shit hasn't even really begun. It's not even, yo, it's not even like a mainstream thing yet, but this is crazy. Really, this is blowing my mind right now, really. The fact that people are really doing this and, and it's being put, put, it's being pushed out to the public like this, man. I'm not even gonna read any more of this article. Let me play a little bit of this video clip here because I didn't want to make this video long. But here, you know, this is a video f that was put up on this channel, G. Stol Stolyarov the second. I don't follow this channel or anything. Like I said, I did a YouTube search on this uh, person, magician and anesthesia sin. And it says that she testifies against banning voluntary NF RFID or NFC microchip implants. And this was according to the Assembly Bill 226. I'm just going to read what's on the screen and um, play some of the video for you. But just in case you can't see it fully, I'll just read it off quick. It says, currently pending before the Nevada Senate would prohibit most voluntary implantation of microchips that can transmit information using radio frequency technology. This prohibition would be detrimental to both personal liberty and technological progress. So they're trying to ban people from doing that. You know, they're trying to prohibit people from doing that, according to this uh, Nevada State Assembly Bill 226. And, you know, you brothers are going to more than likely look up more information on it. And, you know, the information is going to come out regardless through the spirit. But um, you know, I haven't really done any deep research on it, pretty much is what I'm saying. But this is just according to this video here. And the, they have something called the Transhumanist Party. All right. It says the U.S. Transhumanist Party slash Transhuman Party began a campaign of awareness, raising legis raising and legislative. Aware excuse me, I'm going to read that again. Began a campaign of awareness, raising and legislative activism, activism to encourage transhumanist biohackers and other supporters of technological advancement and personal freedom to speak right and spread the word in, a, in opposition to AB 226. And this is one of the, the people that stood up on the forefront, all right, this Anastasia Sin. And I didn't know this until I looked it up. Because like I said, oh, you know, I just came across this article here. And I thought the title was interesting enough to do a video on it. All right, somebody having 26 microchips in them. But then here it is, come to find out that this person is actually like an activist. You can call, you could say that a trans, she's part of the transhumanist party which is a group of people that are actively trying to 
change the legislation to allow people to receive these microchips. All right. Not mandatorily like the prophecy speaks, but this is one step closer to that and saying is you can get it voluntarily. But the next step after something is, is voluntary is what is mandatory. It's going to be mandatory to take this chip. It says Anastasia Sin, a magician and transhumanist in Las Vegas, answered the call and attended to attended the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on April 26, 2019. By the way, the Elder Apostle Zohar had coined this year the year of Karagma. And this happened on April 26, 2019. To inform legislators and the public about what microchip technology can actually do, its benefits and the practical limitations that prevent it from giving rise to the AB 26, 226 proponents feared scenarios. So I'll just play some of the video on what she was saying at this um at the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on April 26, 2019. If the video plays, Lord willing it will. to testify in opposition to Assembly Bill 226. Please come on up. And we will go ahead and start down in Las Vegas. So down in Las Vegas, if you could please hit that microphone button, identify yourself, and proceed. Hello, my name is Anastasia Sin. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm a magician, and I'm here to oppose the bill for several reasons. Um, I have 21 implants. 15 of those are RFID and FC micro. Damn, so, so like it. I'm going to pause it real quick from, from April 26, 2019 to uh, what's today's day? September 9th, 2019. This lady has had another five additional implants installed in her. All right, this shit is out of control, man. And this person is standing up pretty much for all transhuman, is it, trans, whatever the hell they called, cyborgs and biohackers and shit, man, before the Senate, man, of Las Vegas. This is how serious this thing is, man. Chips. I use them Let the video play. Act. I use them to perform, and I could probably get you a list of about 50 other performers in this town that use them. Um, I brought my door lock that I use to demonstrate how I can... So she said that there's 50 other performers in Las Vegas that also use microchip implants in, as a part of their performance their magic performance or whatever which which even you know even just thinking about that what is what is a magician a magician is basically a witch man a magician is basically a sorcerer what type of magic is this man microchip magic what the fuck is this man this has to this is babylon the great man the america has to be babylon the great according to prophecy because babylon means confusion you got fucking magicians with microchips in them man Need I say more? This shit got to go, man. This place is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. All right. And you know what? I'm just going to read the scripture because I don't want to make this lesson any longer than it has to be. You know, I'm not going to even play this whole video. I'll put the video link in the description. Brothers can um either do responses or, or whatever, whatever, however the spirit, you know, leads you. But I'm not going to play the rest of this video, man. It, the point is there, man. This is what's really going on in the world. This is um Revelation 14 and 9. The third And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, which we already went over what the beast and his image is, basically this way of life that's being lived here in America, which goes, which leads you back to ancient Rome, all right, and you receive his mark in your forehead or in your hand or anywhere in your body, which is the chip, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So you are going to piss off the Most High for taking this chip, and mainly you Israelites, man, you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you damn crackers, man, you Edomites. I mean, you're going to take the chip regardless, man. You're already doing it. You're already pushing it. You're already making it what it is, you know, making it a new a technology trend or whatever, the Internet of Things, smart cities, cashless, city, uh, cashless cities, and stuff like that. 
You know, you're, you're, you're the ones doing it. So, of course, you're going to take the chip, man. But this is really for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You Israelites, man. If you take this chip, you're really going to piss the Most High off. And what's going to happen to you? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. He, she, him, they, them. Whoever takes this chip, man. Man or woman. Small or great. Rich or poor. Free or bond. It said he's going he's gonna to cause all to take this chip. And if you take this chip, if you consent to these devils, this is your judgment to be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Who is the lamb? Yahweh Shai. The holy angels that he's coming back with. How are they, how are they coming back? By so-called UFOs. Meaning that even the Lord himself is going to add onto that nuclear fire. All right, because when you read up above, what is this going into? The judgment of Babylon the Great, America, which is going to be how? By, by nuclear missiles, ICBM, nuclear technology. The fire that the Most High is going to bring is going to be from the missiles. But also, Yahweh Shai, which is the Lamb, and the Holy Angels are coming with their own brand of fire, which is the laser beams off the chariots. All right, you're going to be burnt up in all that fire. That's why I said it's not mixed. It's poured out without mixture. It's just raw fire for you, man. And you being tormented in that fire. This is not talking about hell after you die. This is going to happen on the earth. And to prove that, I'm going to get one more scripture after this. Verse 11, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest, day nor night, who worshipped the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. And you got to understand, it's not talking about forever and ever and ever. For all eternity. All right. It's talking about for a period of time, a long period of time, that fire is going to be kindling upon America to the foundation of this land be destroyed to where it's never going to reproduce any more crops or anything like that anymore. This is going to be a barren wasteland. Babylon the Great is going to be turned into a pitch in a, a desert, man. That's what the scripture prophesies about. Isaiah 13, Isaiah 47, Revelation 18. All right, so this lake of fire, this second death is not talking about hell, man. It's not talking about after you die, it's going to be on the earth. And I'm going to get a scripture to prove that before I close this out. This is Revelation 19 and 20. And, you know, the point is just at the end of the verse, it says, And the beast was taken, was the beast, NATO and the EU, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, because also different parts of Europe is going to be hit with missiles too. It's not only America. All right, this nuclear destruction is going to be the end of Esau's world, man. All his power that he has on earth, America, even Russia. All right, NATO, the EU, all of that, man. All right, that's all going to be destroyed when the Lord comes back. It's going to be destroyed by World War III, the War of Armageddon, nuclear war. All right, the false prophet, the Catholic Church, the, the Vatican. All right, this Christianity garbage, all of this shit that... The philosophies and the religion that Esau pushes, that's also going to be destroyed. This false Christianity, this false sense of uh, Catholicism, which the word Catholic means universal, trying to bring everyone together. This whole ideology is going to be all cast in to that lake of fire. We're going to read it. It says, which, with which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast. Well, excuse me, I skipped the part. And, and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. With which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped this image. So people are going to be deceived into taking the mark of the beast. What are some of these miracles? The medical industry. They're going to be, and they might even fake a, a second coming of the Lord. You know, some of us, we, we perceive that the scriptures speak about false Christ arising. Somebody might stand up and say, I'm the Messiah, I'm Jesus Christ. Didn't Donald Trump even come up the other day and said he was the chosen one? To, to save Israel or whatever. He's talking about the state of Israel. All right, not the true Israelites. But, you know, this devil is going to work all type of miracles in these last days with his technology. And that's going to that's gonna deceive people into saying, you know what? Yeah, I got to take the chip. If I want to eat, if I want to live and I want to buy and sell, I have to take this chip. But you people that do that and, and worship the beast in his image and take his mark, we already read what's your destruction is going to say it here again. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, 
burning with brimstone. It didn't say after you die. This is not a judgment of after you pass on to the next life, the afterlife, and, um, and you go up to the gates of heaven, and then the Most High sends you down to hell because you have the mark of the beast. This is not what it's talking about. It's talking about you being casted alive into fire, meaning fire is going to swallow this, the lands of America is going to swallow it up. Everybody that's left in here is going to get burnt up, man. Two thirds of Israel, you heathens. All right. The only ones that's making it up out of this fire, the only ones that's found written in the book of life that's going to be saved is the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. People that got the chip already, you're doomed already, man. You already, you already signed up your fate. And anyways, I think this, this damn thing is an Edomite anyways. I don't know for sure, but I think through the spirit, this is an Edomite. So you, you Edomites have no chance of salvation anyways. But the point is that people are actually going to burn physically for receiving the mark, for worshiping the beast in his image. All right. For receiving the RFID microchip implant. And those of you that got more than one chip. You're definitely done, man. Even one chip alone is enough to um to, to condemn you. Because you can't repent from this, man. You can't take the chip out and then act like the most high never knew that you um took the mark of the beast, man. Once you implant yourself with this chip, it's over. Alright, you're condemned. You're gonna be destroyed by fire. Thus save the scriptures, man. Thus save Yahweh Shimia Washai. So I hope and pray this lesson was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.